In 2003, my partner and I, Lan Chung, uh, we worked at Agnes B, it's a French company, and they closed our store, so we decided let's open our own business. And that's how Fighting Yale started. We have four locations. We have Waikiki, this downtown location, um, Kahala Mall, and Kailua, and we're also online. I kind of almost feel like I'm numb at this point. <laughs> I think people have got to that point where they're just do the best I can right now, and if something comes up, I'm going to make the best decision that I can make. And that's what we've been doing. This has been a stressful time for everybody, and just having to deal with the logistics and like the stress of making sure everybody has a job. <laughs> and it's just exhausting. Honestly, the second time, we had to furlough a lot of employees, and it's that was very frustrating and we were still paying their medical because I know that's a really big concern for a lot of people. There's only so much you can do and all of this comes out of our pocket. But I want to just get them back to work as soon as possible. We have 43 employees, mostly women. We have a few moms and they like help support their families. And you know, if they don't have jobs, then who's going to be there to help support those families and where are they going to get new jobs from? You know, we're just trying our best to hold on to those jobs. It's like they're only planning one thing at a time. If we had like real timelines, people could be ready and prepare and make whatever arrangements they need to make. We had to furlough a bunch of like our part-time employees and some of our full-time employees. Yeah, that is very difficult and just telling them, oh, it's only going to be two weeks and then all of a sudden it's another two weeks and it's just like, what are they going to do, you know? It's, it's scary. I've been trying as hard as I can, but there's no like planning of um, how they're going to help small businesses. They have the money. They have the money and it's like, they should release that, those funds. They had some kind of money for small businesses, for people who are getting furloughed. And, um, and then announce this, then people would be like, okay, we're ready to make that sacrifice. But if you like have, it's, it's only one-sided, everybody has to sacrifice and you, has, you actually have the money, that's the frustrating part for me. I just, it doesn't make any sense to me. And I know things take time and you know, but in the meantime, people are closing, people are losing jobs and it's just gonna get worse and worse. I've like local people are really, really supportive of local business, thank goodness. So they've been trying to support and we have a great staff and we would just want to keep them employed and doing well. And to do that, it's just, we just need help. Government should be there to help you in time of crisis. That's my main concern. It's, I wish they would act a little quicker and really think about these things because it's going to have such a trickle down effect. I wish they would just like see how they need to help all these businesses.